in the grand theatre of the cosmos, amidst a symphony of stars and galaxies, lies the enigmatic Milky Way. Its spiral arms dance to the ancient rhythms of the universe, cradling stories of worlds unknown and tales of cosmic wonders. Nestled in the far reaches of one of these celestial spirals, there lies a hidden gem, a quaint corner in the vast cosmic arena. As we journey through the cosmic veil, we find ourselves nearing a singular spectacle, a beacon of life in the cosmic sea. Near a yellow dwarf star named Sol, orbits a 4.5 billion year old ocean planet teeming with life. Earth, a cerulean oasis amidst the starry desert. A realm where the essence of existence manifests in a spectacle of colors and forms. Where the rhythm of life resonates through the vast oceans verdant forests and towering mountain ranges. Our odyssey begins here, on this blue marble, where every ripple in the water and rustle in the leaves tells tales of the enduring dance between life and the elements. As we delve into the heart of this living planet, we shall unravel the mesmerizing narrative of life survival, and the indomitable spirit that fuels the endless cycle of existence. Welcome to Earth's Living Odyssey. Episode 1. The Oceans Embrace. As we descend from the cosmic abyss into the heart of our blue marble, the first whispers of life beckon us from the boundless oceans. The oceans, a realm that holds the ancient secrets of life. A cradle that nurtured the earliest whispers of existence. As we draw closer to the shores, where the vast ocean caresses the land, a new world of existence unveils before us. The coastal realms, a tapestry of colours and forms, beckon us to delve deeper into their embrace. Beneath the gentle waves lies a bustling metropolis of marine life, the coral reefs. The coral reefs, often referred to as the rainforests of the sea, are vital to our planet's health, housing a quarter of all marine species and providing sustenance to millions of humans. In the heart of this vibrant garden, a peculiar alliance unfolds. Meet the clownfish and the anemone a duo that epitomizes the essence of symbiosis in these aquatic realms. The clownfish with its flamboyant stripes finds sanctuary among the stinging tentacles of the anemone, a refuge that few others dare to approach. The venomous embrace that deters many offers the clownfish a haven, a pack sealed with a gentle touch. A tender ballet between the anemone and the clownfish unfolds. The clownfish gently glides among the tentacles, its skin protected by the coating of a special mucus, a shield against the potent sting of its host. This cloak of protection allows the clownfish to seek refuge amidst the anemone's deadly arms, a safe harbour in the perilous open seas. In return for sanctuary, the clownfish offers the anemone crumbs of its meals and a promise of deterrence to potential threats. A vigilant guard against intruders, 
The clownfish chases away those who dare to threaten its venomous companion. Their symbiotic bond, a model of mutual benefit, echoes the essence of cooperation that thrives amidst the bustling life of the coral reefs. As we delve further into the lively narrative of the reef, we encounter the vibrant parrotfish, a spectacle of colour amidst the coral canvas. With its beak-like jaws, the parrotfish grazes on coral polyps, playing a crucial role in the health and vitality of this underwater city. With each nibble and graze, the parrotfish plays its part in the cycle of life here. Its hard beak is adept at scraping away at the coral, aiding in controlling the coral's growth and creating room for a variety of organisms to flourish. Remarkably, the after-effect of its dining habits is the creation of fine sand, contributing to the idyllic shores that grace the nearby lands. As the parrotfish continues its dance among the corals, the fine sand it creates gently drifts through the water, guiding our gaze towards another emblematic dweller of the reef, the sea turtle. This ancient mariner, with its calm demeanour, provides a stark contrast to the bustling activity we've witnessed. With a lineage tracing back over 100 million years, the sea turtle's journey through life is a captivating tale. Its streamlined shell and powerful flippers are honed for the vast open sea, yet the sheltered bays of coral reefs provide a sanctuary, abundant with nourishment and refuge from the lurking dangers of the deep. Their diet is a boon to the ecosystem. By grazing on seagrass, they keep the beds healthy and promote growth. Their love for jellyfish, although a perilous choice due to potential stings, helps to keep the jellyfish population in check. Being air-breathing reptiles, they surface to breathe, a brief but crucial connection to the world above. Their nests on distant shores tie the fate of the reef to lands far beyond, a reminder of the intricate web of life. Amidst the vibrant tapestry of the reef, where colours and forms come alive, the lionfish emerges as a striking presence. Its bold stripes and delicate venomous spines craft a portrait of both beauty and peril. The lionfish, native to the Indo-Pacific, is an invader in many waters, yet its presence in the reef is undeniably captivating. Its long, ornate fins resemble the mane of a lion, giving this fish its iconic name. But beneath this beauty lies a formidable predator. With a voracious appetite, the lionfish hunts small fish and invertebrates, using its fan-like pectoral fins to corner its prey. It 
Its method is precise, swift, and effective. Yet, it's not just its hunting prowess that makes the lionfish remarkable. Each of its long, elegant spines is venomous. A defense mechanism against potential predators. While not typically fatal to humans, a sting from a lionfish can be extremely painful. However, the story of the lionfish is also a cautionary tale. In regions where it's not native, such as the Caribbean and the Atlantic, it has become an invasive species, threatening local marine life due to its aggressive feeding habits and lack of natural predators. Yet, in its native habitat, the lionfish plays a role like any other reef inhabitant, contributing to the intricate balance of this underwater world. Its presence serves as a reminder of the delicate equilibrium of marine ecosystems and the unforeseen consequences of disrupting this balance. The lionfish is a symbol of nature's duality, beauty and danger, harmony and disruption, all wrapped into one mesmerizing creature. In the vibrant habitat of the reef, the moray eel stands distinct, weaving a tale of mystery and stealth. Its allure isn't just in its secretive nature. The moray eel's body, designed for the reef's narrow confines, often reveals just watchful eyes and a hint of its teeth. This predator relies heavily on its acute sense of smell, ever ready for an unsuspecting prey. Beyond its stealthy hunting techniques, the moray eel boasts a suite of fascinating adaptations. Unlike many fish, it has a second set of jaws in its throat, the pharyngeal jaws, which assist in its unique feeding mechanism. Moreover, rather than scales, it secretes a protective mucus over its skin. This mucus not only offers a shield against potential threats and parasites, but in some species, contains toxins, adding another layer of defense. Amid the ever-moving currents and bustling marine life, the moray eel offers a pause, a moment of reflection. As we venture towards the ocean floor and the edges of the reef, a different kind of spectacle awaits. Here, amidst the corals, the sea urchins make their presence known. With their spiny armor, these creatures are a sight to behold, a delicate balance of grace and defense. Sea urchins, with their spherical bodies adorned with long, sharp spines, are slow movers but vital players in the reef's ecology. Their primary diet consists of algae, which they meticulously graze. Despite their slow pace, sea urchins are architects of the reef in their own right. By keeping the algae in check, they help maintain a healthy environment for the corals and other marine life to thrive. From the familiar sight of the simpler sea urchins, our gaze shifts to something completely different. The striking fire urchin, 
its vibrant colours are a stark contrast to the dull hues of the seafloor. A fiery array of oranges and reds that catches the eye. The fire urchin, named for its vibrant hue, boasts long venomous spines that act as a potent deterrent for predators. However, one daring creature has carved out a home amidst this hazardous abode. Nestled unharmed amongst the spines, we meet the Coleman Shrimp. The symbiotic relationship between Coleman Shrimp and fire urchins has fascinated scientists. These tiny crustaceans appear to have developed remarkable adaptations to coexist with fire urchins, despite the latter's toxic spines. Mimicking the appearance of fire urchins, the shrimp use their long, bristle-like appendages to navigate carefully among the spines, minimizing the risk of accidental contact. The shrimp, in return, helps keep the urchin clean by removing detritus from its spines and other small parasites. From the spiny architects of the coral floor, the sea urchins, we journey to where the rhythmic dance of the tides begins. As the waters recede and advance, revealing and concealing the shores, we find ourselves on the threshold of a realm, both terrestrial and marine. Between the ebb and flow of the tides, where the boundaries blur, stand the sentinels of the salt water, the mangrove forests. These tidal forests, with their gnarled roots and dense canopies, are more than just trees on the water's edge. Gifted with a mechanism as marvellous as their roots, they possess the extraordinary ability to filter and discard excess salt. They serve as vital barriers, buffering the coastlines from storm surges and erosion. But it's beneath the water's surface where the true magic of the mangroves reveals itself. The submerged roots offer sanctuary to countless marine species, especially the young ones. Here, in the sheltered nurseries of the mangroves, they find refuge from predators until they're ready to venture into the open sea. One species particularly emblematic of the mangrove's magic is the mudskipper. Part fish, part amphibian, the mudskipper is a marvel of adaptation. With its specialised fins, it walks on mudflats, breathing through its skin and throat pouches when outside the water. It's a creature that beautifully exemplifies the blurred lines between sea and land in these coastal realms. With eyes perched on top of its head, the mudskipper remains ever watchful observing both the underwater world and the land above. This unique positioning provides them with a panoramic perspective, enabling them to stay alert to potential threats and opportunities. On the mudflats, the mudskipper's social interactions come to the fore. Males display vibrant dances, leaping and flashing their fins, all in a bid to establish dominance, mark territory or woo a potential mate. By storing gulps of air in specialised gill chambers and throat pouches, mudskippers can remain on land for extended durations, showcasing their unique evolutionary journey and the marvels of nature's adaptability.
the mangrove ecosystem and its inhabitants, like the mudskipper, serve as a testament to nature's ability to adapt and thrive at the confluence of land and sea. As we navigate further into the intricate weave of the mangroves, the ambience shifts, revealing a world teeming with activity and the subtle rhythms of its unique inhabitants. Here, in the murky waters and tangled roots, lurks the undisputed monarch of the mangrove realm, the saltwater crocodile. These impressive creatures, with their armoured scales and powerful jaws, reign supreme in these brackish waters. With unparalleled patience, the saltwater crocodile waits, almost invisible, with just its eyes and nostrils breaking the water's surface. Its stealth and stillness make it a formidable hunter. The mangrove's dense roots and brackish waters offer the perfect hideout, allowing the crocodile to blend seamlessly with its surroundings, becoming one with the shadows. Yet, these giants are not just predators. They play a crucial role in maintaining the health of the mangrove ecosystem. By controlling populations of certain prey species, they ensure balance within this delicate environment. The mangroves also serve as a nursery. Female crocodiles lay their eggs in nests built on the forest floor, guarding them fervently against any potential threats. Once hatched, the young crocodiles, with their distinctive stripes, begin their life's journey in these sheltered waters, learning the ways of the mangrove before venturing out into more open territories. The saltwater crocodile, with its formidable presence, is a perfect example of the untamed essence of the mangroves, a place where nature's raw power and beauty coexist in a delicate balance. As our journey through the mangroves continues, the rhythmic dance of small creatures draws our attention to the muddy shores. Here, the fiddler crabs make their mark, scuttling about with an unmistakable asymmetry. One claw, significantly larger than the other, gives the fiddler crab its name. Males wave this oversized claw, not in combat, but in a courtship dance, hoping to attract a mate. It's a display of vibrancy and fervor. But there's more to these crabs than their dancing claws. They play a pivotal role in the mangrove ecosystem. As they feed, Fiddler crabs sift through the mud, consuming detritus and algae. This process aerates the soil, ensuring the mangrove trees get the oxygen they need. Beyond feeding, their burrowing habits form intricate tunnel systems, providing shelter from predators and the harsh midday sun. These burrows also play a role in nutrient cycling, ensuring that the mangrove soils remain fertile. Though they may be small in stature, the impact of the fiddler crabs on the mangrove ecosystem is monumental. Their daily rituals of feeding burrowing and courtship are essential cogs in the machinery of this tidal realm.
as we traverse the serene waterways of the mangrove, a gentle presence emerges from the dappled shadows. The manatee, with its rounded body and paddle-like flippers, glides gracefully through the water. A stark contrast to the bustling activity of the smaller creatures below. Often found grazing on the seagrass beds that flourish in the calm mangrove waters, these gentle herbivores are perfectly adapted to a life of leisurely feeding and slow exploration. Their thick, wrinkled skin and sturdy bodies allow them to navigate the sometimes dense mangrove roots with ease. While their peaceful grazing might earn them the nickname sea cows, it's fascinating to note that manatees share a closer genetic kinship with elephants. But the manatees' existence in the mangroves is not without challenges. Their slow-moving nature makes them vulnerable to threats, both natural and human-made. Within the sheltered embrace of the mangroves, they find refuge, nourishment, and a sanctuary to raise their young. As the rhythmic ebb and flow of the tide changes, a sleek silhouette gracefully navigates the waters. A reef shark, an embodiment of adaptability and evolution, beckons us to embark on a journey with it. Possessing a unique blend of power and finesse, this remarkable predator has carved out a niche in diverse aquatic habitats. Not just confined to the vibrant coral structures, reef sharks are known to venture into the brackish waters of mangrove rivers. While reef sharks might seem intimidating, they're typically not aggressive towards humans. Most encounters in their natural habitat are non-confrontational. Their primary diet consists of smaller marine life, and they usually keep their distance from larger entities. Reef sharks are also remarkable for their keen senses. Equipped with electroreceptors called ampullae of Lorenzini, they can detect the minute electrical fields produced by other marine creatures. An invaluable trait in the dimly lit depths and clear sandy shallows alike. Beyond their unparalleled sensory abilities, reef sharks play a pivotal role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems. As apex predators, they help control populations of prey species, ensuring balance and diversity. As we continue to shadow the reef shark, it leads us away from the coral structures and mangrove estuaries to another equally mesmerizing marine spectacle. Here, the waters are clearer and the ocean floor is painted in shades of green. We're entering a realm often overshadowed by its colorful counterparts, yet it's a world teeming with life and importance. 
Welcome to the seagrass meadows, the vast underwater prairies of our oceans. Here, sunlight refracts through the water, painting shimmering patterns on the seabed. Before us, an expanse of green stretches as far as the eye can see. Covering an area of approximately 300,000 square kilometers globally, these marine flowering plants are more than just a picturesque sight. Anchored firmly to the seabed, seagrass blades offer a verdant sanctuary, providing shelter, food, and breeding grounds for countless marine species. Among the many inhabitants of the seagrass meadows is the sea cucumber. This elongated, leathery dweller is more than just a passive resident. As it roams the seabed, it actively processes the sediment. By feeding, the sea cucumber extracts organic matter effectively recycling nutrients and playing an integral role in maintaining the ecosystem's balance. Furthermore, sea cucumbers possess a unique defense mechanism. When threatened, they can expel their internal organs to deter predators, later regenerating them. Through their subtle, rhythmic movements and fascinating behaviours, sea cucumbers play an understated yet crucial role in the vitality of the meadows, aiding in keeping the ocean floor fertile and oxygen rich. From minuscule invertebrates to sizeable fish, the seagrass meadows pulsate with life, forming a dynamic underwater community. As the tides wax and wane, the seagrass, in its rhythmic dance, captures nearly 10% of the ocean carbon annually. In the midst of the seagrass meadows, where countless creatures find sustenance and shelter, there's a particularly unique resident that captures our attention. Introducing the porcupine puffer, a fish that's as fascinating as it is peculiar. With its round body and large, soulful eyes, this creature might appear innocuous at first glance. But it holds a few surprises up its fins. Unlike most of its neighbours, the porcupine puffer has a distinct defence mechanism. When threatened, it can inflate its body, transforming into a spiky ball that deters potential predators. Those protruding spines, combined with its ability to increase its size, make it a challenging target for any would-be hunter. But there's more to this fish than just its defensive talents. The porcupine puffer is a curious explorer of the meadows. Using its strong beak-like mouth to feed on hard-shelled prey like crustaceans. Navigating the green expanses of the seagrass, the porcupine puffer plays a vital role in its marine community. Beyond its intriguing defences and feeding habits, this fish serves as an indicator of the health of its habitat. As sensitive creatures, any changes in water quality or habitat disturbance can affect them, making their presence a barometer for the overall well-being of the seagrass ecosystem.
their vibrant presence in the meadows, isn't just limited to their unique survival tactics. The porcupine puffer's social nature often shines through as they engage with other marine inhabitants, exhibiting playful and sometimes even mischievous behaviours. Observing them in their natural habitat, one can't help but be captivated by the wonders of the marine world. Distinct from the seaweeds of the abyss, seagrasses are true flowering plants. Though sometimes overshadowed by coral reefs or kelp forests, these meadows are indispensable for ocean health. Beyond the sandy shores, Beneath tranquil waves, they sprawl in quiet magnificence. In the diverse tapestry of marine life, there are those that stand out not for their size, but for their sheer beauty and intricacy. Hidden amongst the blades of seagrass, we meet the Trinchesia. A genus of small, vibrantly coloured sea slugs that inhabit the world's oceans. Often found nestled among corals and seagrass. The Trinchesia sea slugs, like their nudibranch relatives, are renowned for their dazzling patterns and hues. But their beauty isn't just skin deep. These creatures have evolved fascinating survival mechanisms, from absorbing toxins from their prey to deter predators, to the ability to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. As they glide gracefully over corals and through the seagrass, Trinchesia play a pivotal role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems, feeding on tiny organisms like hydroids. They help control these populations, ensuring balance within their habitat. If we look closely, we can see another creature hidden amongst the swaying blades of seagrass. The seahorse, with its unique, upright posture and curled tail, is a marvel of marine adaptation. Their camouflaged bodies blend seamlessly with their surroundings, allowing them to stay hidden from predators and sneak up on their prey. Unlike most fish, seahorses have a neck and a head that angles forward. attributes that give them their horse-like appearance. Their eyes move independently, scanning for food and potential threats. One of the most fascinating aspects of seahorses is their reproductive process. It's the males that carry and give birth to the young, nurturing them in a specialized brood pouch until they're ready to venture out. In the delicate balance of the seagrass ecosystem, the seahorse plays a vital role, feeding on tiny crustaceans and providing a source of food for larger predators. After observing the delicate dance of the seahorse, another enigmatic creature captures our gaze within this verdant underwater realm. Lurking subtly amidst the seagrass blades, the cuttlefish is a marvel of adaptability and intelligence. With its W-shaped pupils and flowing arms, 
this cephalopod possesses an almost fluid-like grace, seamlessly blending with the water currents, as if it were an extension of the ocean itself. Its capacity to swiftly adjust skin color and texture is a remarkable adaptation, rivaling the camouflaging talents of marine beings such as the octopus. This not only safeguards it from predators, but also aids in ambushing prey lurking in the seagrass shadows. The cuttle bone, a distinct internal structure, grants the cuttlefish precise buoyancy control, enabling it to glide effortlessly or make swift pursuits. Paired with its keen vision, it asserts a dominant presence in the seagrass food chain. Beyond its role as a predator, the cuttlefish draws immense scientific interest. Its advanced nervous system facilitates impressive cognitive feats, from maze navigation to pattern recognition. Moreover, the chromatophores in its skin produce dynamic, pulsating patterns, serving purposes from communication and mating rituals to evasive maneuvers. As we follow the cuttlefish's journey, a particularly intimate moment unfolds. The cuttlefish begins to deposit clusters of small, grape-like eggs in the sand, near the protective fringes of seagrass and corals. This ritual is crucial for the next generation of cuttlefish. Each egg holds a tiny embryo, which over time will develop and emerge as a fully formed juvenile. The strategic placement near seagrass and corals offers the eggs some protection against potential predators, ensuring a greater chance of survival for these future cephalopods. These intricate displays highlight the cuttlefish as a mesmerizing marvel of the deep a creature that continually astonishes and inspires. As our journey through the seagrass meadows continues, a graceful shadow glides below, casting a fleeting silhouette against the sunlit ocean floor. The stingray, with its flattened body and expansive wingspan, moves with a fluidity that is almost balletic, a mesmerizing dance of nature. Unlike their shark cousins, stingrays are not active hunters. Instead, they rely on their ability to camouflage themselves within the sandy seabed, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey. As they bury themselves slightly beneath the surface, only their eyes and spiracles, the openings behind their eyes that aid in respiration, remain visible. The seagrass meadows offer the stingray a buffet of choices, from small mollusks and crustaceans to tiny fish. The stingray uses its strong cartilaginous jaw to crush and consume its meals. but it's not just their hunting technique that's fascinating. On the underside of the stingray, close to the base of the tail, is a barbed stinger. A defense mechanism, this venomous spine can deliver a painful wound if the ray feels threatened. The gentle undulations and the sand it occasionally stirs up create a captivating scene. As our venture through the seagrass meadows draws to a close with the graceful glide of the stingray, the boundless blue of the open ocean beckons us from beyond the horizon.
Our journey has taken us through the vibrant dance of coral reefs, the tangled roots of the mangroves, and the verdant undulations of seagrass beds, each habitat unveiling its unique rhythm of life beneath the waves. Now, as we gaze into the vast expanse that stretches infinitely before us, we stand on the cusp of a new adventure. One that promises to unveil the mysteries of the deep. The open ocean with its endless horizon and profound depths is a realm where every ripple tells a story, every current holds a secret. The mesmerizing blue of the pelagic zone invites us to delve into the unknown, to explore a world where the rules of life are constantly rewritten by the forces of nature. Here, in the heart of the ocean, life adapts to the rhythm of the currents, the dance of sunlight and shadow, and the endless cycle of predators and prey. As we prepare to embark on this next chapter, exploring the open oceans and the deep unknown, let us also reflect on the fragile beauty and critical importance of the habitats we've journeyed through. The mangroves, coral reefs and seagrass meadows are not just vibrant spectacles of nature, they are crucial pillars of marine biodiversity, offering shelter, sustenance and survival to countless marine species. Yet, they face threats from pollution, climate change, and human encroachment. Conservation efforts are underway globally to protect and restore these vital habitats. Organizations like the World Wildlife Fund, Ocean Conservancy, and the Nature Conservancy are working tirelessly to safeguard our ocean's health and the rich biodiversity they harbor. By supporting these endeavors, educating ourselves, and making sustainable choices, we can contribute to preserving the magnificent marine realms for generations to come. Join us next time as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the open oceans and continue to explore the wonders of the marine world. Until then, may the rhythm of the waves and the oceans embrace inspire us to act, to learn, and to cherish the treasures of our blue planet.